SolidWorks Connected utilizes named user licensing. This means that when you sign in, it checks your license out to your username using the internet. But what happens if you need to use it in places with unstable internet or even no internet connection at all? Luckily, SolidWorks Connected has something called offline mode. This allows you to check a license out to your machine for up to 30 days at a time. Let's take a look at how to activate this and best practices on how to use it. Before we get started, we will need to make sure that we have an internet connection initially, so you will want to plan this ahead of time. With unplanned internet unavailability, you can certainly jump on a mobile hotspot if available to check your license out. We will then want to launch SolidWorks Connected and wait for the licensing to establish. This can be confirmed once you see your profile picture populate in the top right corner, or initials if you have not yet added a profile picture. Before you move forward with taking your license offline, you will want to make sure that you have any data that you would like to work on from 3D Experience locally cached. This is done just by opening up the part assembly or drawings that you would like to work on while offline. You can confirm your data is locally cached by going to the 3D Experience Files on this PC tab and selecting the Refresh button if you are not seeing the desired files. As a matter of good practice, you will also want to lock any data prior to going offline. This will prevent anyone from making any changes to that data while you are working with it offline. Once this is all complete and all parts are closed out of SOLIDWORKS, you can take your license offline by clicking on your profile picture or initials and selecting Work Offline. You will then receive a warning reminding you to have your files locally cached and locked and that you will have 30 days before the licensing will need to be reestablished with an internet connection. Remember, when your license is taken offline, it will be tied to that machine, so you will need to take it back online if you would like to utilize your SOLIDWORKS connected license on another machine. Proceed to take your license offline. Once offline, you can search for any locally cached 3D experience files and right-click to open. Any changes can be saved to the local cache by selecting the Save to this PC command, which utilizes Ctrl-S as a default shortcut. Non-3D experience files can be opened from the Windows File Explorer and worked on in the same way. The desktop shortcut can be used to launch new sessions well offline. As you are working, you can confirm how many days you have remaining in the bottom left corner of your SOLIDWORKS window. At any point during that 30 days, you can reactivate your license to save these changes to the 3D Experience platform. In the same way that we went offline, we will return online. Close out of all parts and click on the offline mode symbol and confirm that you would like to resume working online. Once your connection is re-established, you can open any locally cached components that were changed well offline and save them back to your cloud storage so others can see your changes. For a quick pro tip, sort by the status columns in the 3D Experience files on this PC tab to find anything that needs to be saved back up. SOLIDWORKS Connected Offline Mode gives you the flexibility of named user licensing while allowing you to work where you want to. Contact us today to get started with SOLIDWORKS. Mm -hmm.